In this video, we're going to balance an equation that's a little bit challenging. This is trinitroglycerin, and this will explode, and it forms all these substances. So this one substance explodes, and then you get gases. And these gases, that's what causes the explosion. They expand, they push things out like rock and things around them. Boom. So to balance the equation, we'll use a little bit of a trick later on. But for now, let's count the atoms up. Three carbons, five hydrogens, three times one. This three goes to everything here. So three times the one nitrogen, three of those, three times three, nine oxygens. Product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, two nitrogens, and then two plus one plus two, five oxygen atoms. So before I did this video, I balanced this. And what I ended up doing was I tried to balance the carbon and some other things. And I realized I need to have this as an even number. So we're going to start there. What I did was I put a two in front of the trinitroglycerin, the C3H5NO33. That's going to get me an even number of hydrogens. When I do that, I have to update all these numbers here. So now I have three times two, six carbons, five times two. That gives me 10 hydrogens. So now that's an even number. Then three times the one, three nitrogens times two. So I get six of those. Then three times three is the nine times two. That gives me 18. We have nitrogen and oxygen by themselves over here. So we want to leave those to last because they're easy to fix. We can change the coefficient here or here, and that won't change any of the carbons or hydrogens. So we leave these to last. Let's just first do the carbon. We could put a six in front of the CO2, one times six. That would balance the carbons. We have six of those. And then for the oxygen, we need to change that. Six times two, that's 12, 13 plus two, 15 oxygen atoms. Let's balance the hydrogens because now we put a five here, two times five, that's the 10. So that's why we wanted to get this five to an even number so we could multiply by this two, get the 10 here. And again, we need to change the oxygens. Six times two, let's write it out. That's 12 plus five times one, that's five plus two, that's 19. Let's fix the nitrogens just to do it. Two times three is six. So we're just left with this oxygen. We have one too many oxygens, and that's really annoying. Here's a trick we could use though. We could put a coefficient in front of the two that would basically cut it in half. We put a half right here as our coefficient. Let's change these numbers here. Now we have one half times two, that's just one. And if we add these up, we have 18 and this equation is balanced. If you didn't know this trick, you could have put a four in front of this and then work things out again. And you probably would have been able to solve it that way. This is a real quick way to fix this problem though. If teachers don't like this fractional number here, some don't, you can just multiply everything by two, all the coefficients. Two times two is four, two times six is 12, 10, six, and then two times one half, that's just one. So these coefficients are correct as well. It really doesn't matter from a chemical standpoint. These are just ratios. So any numbers with the correct ratio, they serve our purpose as we try to do calculations with chemical quantities. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C3H5NO33, trinitroglycerin. Boom. Thanks for watching.